intestine, the alchemist's alembic. The alchemist's alembic bottle is the vas hermetic, hermetic vase, fashioned after the lower intestine of the body. The stomach and small intestines are the vessels in which the sustaining minerals of life are prepared. These support the birth of the Jesus seed or stem cell which occurs in the spleen. Without digestion, the great generation is physically impossible. Digestion serves many bodily functions. It renovates blood. It renovates all of the organs of the body. It renovates the nerves and the brain. It stimulates the activity of nitric oxide. And most importantly, it sets the vital mineral cell salts contained in food free, creating a mineral base for the body. The mineral base is carried into circulation throughout the rest of the body via absorption into the blood and lymph at the small intestines. One constituent of the mineral base produced in the gut is serotonin, a precursor to DMT and the biochemicals of enlightenment. Speaking on digestion, Dr. Carey warns that the seed can be ruined by alcoholic drinks or gluttony that cause ferment acid and even alcohol in the intestinal tract. Thus, no drunkard can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Historically, the essence produced by digestion in the small intestine was known as first matter, aka lac virginis, virgin's milk or prima materia. It is described as an oily water or fatty lymph, and it supplies the blood with the energy derived from food, which is mainly hydrogen. First matter is comprised of the common elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, all of the constituents of DNA. DNA is rich in phosphorus. Master alchemists recognized phosphorus as the fifth element, a sort of philosophical secret since phosphorus absorbs light and even glows with it, it is the agent of spiritual light in the body. Phosphorus is part of the nitrogen family. Alchemically, phosphorus is considered to be light and nitrogen is considered to be fire. In the pre-existent man, Professor Hotema explains that nitrogen, fire, and phosphorus, light, produce life, which is true in the sense that they are the formers of mineral salts and are fundamental parts of waterborne DNA. DNA is quite literally the quint essence of life. Quint means five. So DNA is the five essence, comprised of the five fundamental elements. Earth, water, air, fire, spirit. The small intestine plays a role in phosphorus absorption. So now would be a good time to shed a little more light on phosphorus, which was renamed Lucifer in the Latin Bible. Phosphorus and carbon, the sides of the DNA ladder. The moral of this gospel of the flesh 
is to produce plenty of phosphorus by means of good eating and drinking. Those who say, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die, are diametrically opposed to the Holy Scriptures. The biological in the body form of phosphorus is called phosphate, which basically consists of phosphorus and oxygen. Phosphates improve nerve function and nutrition, are active in creating the bone matrix, and are necessary for sexual function and reproduction. Phosphates are vital for energy production and storage as well as producing DNA and RNA. Phosphates have a critical function in stem cell development, proliferation and differentiation. When the body's pH becomes too acidic, phosphorus availability decreases. Phosphates produce deoxyribose, the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA. Deoxyribose is a pentose sugar, meaning a five carbon sugar. The five carbon sugar with a pentagon structure forms the vertical sides of the DNA ladder. Looking more closely at the word carbon affords us the opportunity to make some interesting links. For example, Dr. Carey calls the seed Osiris in his car, and Strong's Concordance cites car as being from the origin kara, meaning whirling, dancing, or helix. Kara is a derivative of kayo, meaning nucleus or seed. And funnily enough, karyotin or kayotin means the same as chromatin, which is just DNA and protein in the cell nucleus. We will now return to the organ to organ analysis where the seed has now reached the procreative organs. Procreative organs, Sodom and Gomorrah. The lunar germ takes one week to reach the solar plexus and keeps descending. After the second week, the lunar germ reaches its lowest point in the large intestine where it crosses over to the left side via the coccygeal plexus in front of the coccyx. In Strong's Concordance, Sodom and Siddam are referred to as places of the sea salt, mineral reservoirs. The early Jews called the sacral and coccygeal plexuses the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The sacral and coccygeal root plexuses innervate the procreative organs. The organs of this lower region work together to process one, the procreative seed, sperm or ovum, and two, the procreative sexual vital fluid. Therefore, this section includes A, the gonads, which process procreational seeds, and B, the prostate, which processes seminal fluid. The semen is excreted by the prostate as stated, and the zoa by the gonads, the life essence of the body. These two, the seeds and the fluids, don't combine unless ejaculation occurs. If not wasted, these essences are reabsorbed by the body and become what Percival calls the soil in the spleen, the materials available for stem cell production. 
the seed portion. Sperm in males and ovum in females are constituents of semen. Spermatogonia are the infant form of sperm and ovum are the female equivalent. Simply stated, they are stem cells. In their infant form, they are still able to differentiate into a variety of different cell types. If preserved, the sperm degenerate and their molecules are reabsorbed into the body. This is the true 10% type. The animal man actually robs his body of its cells, one tenth to be exact, informing the germs of procreation. This is a fact which science will one day admit. Since the procreative seed is rich in electricity, specifically nitrogen and phosphorus, mineral cell salts and nutrients, Saving it improves the quality and volume of the soil in the spleen. This is what's known as the offering up of animals, procreative germs. If the soil in the spleen is enriched by the reabsorbed procreative seed, the cells produced there will be remarkable also. Thus, we have the regeneration of the body occurring under divine law. An interesting constituent of procreative essences is spermine crystals. Spermine crystals are a nerve stimulant that facilitate cellular regeneration and support the helical structure of DNA RNA. Gnostics refer to the procreational seed, which becomes the furnishing product in the spleen, as the salt of alchemy, because all 12 cell salts exist within it. Samuel Arn War warns us not to spill it, but to transform it, because mastery is represented in the salt of the earth which is in our sexual secretions. The fluid portion. The prostate is known as the skein's gland in women. Ejaculatory tubes enter these glands. The fluid portion of sexual substance is alkaline in reaction, rich in calcium, phosphorus, nitrogen, lecithin, albumin, nucleoproteins, iron and vitamin E. It is remarkably similar to the fluids of the nervous system. Theoretically, life force and vital fluids are the same thing existing in different states. After seminal fluid is broken down in the prostate gland and assuming it is not ejaculated, it will make its way back through the capillaries into the blood. Some experts consider the prostate to be the seat of Kundalini. Others consider it to be the coccygeal body, as we'll see later. Professor Hotema states that when the prostate and its oil act properly, addictions can be dissolved. The higher the quality and quantity of sexual vital essences, the more vibrant the life force sustaining the body. When scripture talks about separating the sheep from the goats, it is highlighting the importance of leading with your head centre, Aries, and not letting carnal desire stemming from the sacral centre, Capricorn or goat, lead you astray. CSF ventricles are shaped like a sheep or ram's head, Aries with its curling horns. 
the procreative organs resemble a goat. In summary, the seed descends to the procreative organs where it can be preserved and reabsorbed into the body, providing a powerful mineral base for the production of stem cells.